good morning <laughs> oh my goodness you guys i'm having a morning so first of all welcome to my vlog this is my first at home kind of i suppose behind the scenes vlog in six months since i left teaching i think one of the first week, the second or third week that I was doing YouTube full time, I did kind of a behind the scenes vlog as I was getting to know my new routine and my new job. Uh, now we're a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more settled in, so I thought it would be nice to do an at home vlog. I and mean, of course with it being vlogmas, I've just been watching a lot more vlogs lately, so it inspired me and I mostly vlog when I'm doing something, when I'm traveling, when I go somewhere, uh, but I've been watching a lot of at-home vlogs and I, I really like them. They're very relaxing, uh, so I wanted to do one of my own, but anyways, I have had, hold on, I can't get this foundation out of here, what the heck. Oh, got it. Did it squirt all over me? Almost, but it didn't quite was stopped up a little bit but now I have it all over my hand whatever anyways <laughs> I did not get the best sleep last night you guys <sighs> so I've been going to bed a little bit later than I normally do I like to go to bed at like 10 okay 10 o'clock 11 o'clock that's like the perfect time for me well, lately I've been going to bed at like 12, 1 o'clock, and it's been killing me. Um, and last night, I woke up at 4 to go to the bathroom, and I could not fall asleep, because let me know if this ever happens to you. I started getting anxiety about thinking deeply about stuff that just was not relevant. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of relevant, but... I was just so tired and so deep in thought that I was getting anxious and couldn't sleep. So right now what's at the forefront of my mind, I guess, uh, is moving. But it still is kind of irrelevant because Jose and I haven't even picked out an apartment yet or anything. But it's in the front of my mind because we are going in January <laughs> and we just booked the tickets. And I have a lot of worries about moving. And so I was up all night for like two, I was up for almost two and a half hours last night just worrying about moving, worrying about the cost, worrying about how I'm going to fit everything, how to pack, worrying what if somebody steals our stuff, worrying about the different ways and what's the best way to move, worrying about my makeup breaking. And you know when you're worrying about that, because I guess you're tired and it's the only thing you're thinking about, it's such a huge deal and you get really emotional, really anxious, really nervous, like... <laughs> and then you wake up in the morning and then you're like, it, it's not even that big of a deal. That's how I'm feeling right now. But I was super worried last night. I was trying to get quotes in the middle of the night. Um, I did eventually fall asleep at like 6.30. And it was at a weird point where I was like, should I just stay up and like do some work? Uh, but I did eventually be able to fall back to sleep. But that made waking up this morning extra hard because I have an appointment at 10. And my alarm went off at 8 and I felt like death waking up um so yeah but while i'm here and we're on the topic if any of you guys have ever done a long distance move i am open to any tips any way that you think is best i was gonna be extra and pay for movers and i'm still gonna get some quotes for from some local companies but something tells me it's going to be thousands and thousands of dollars and Jose and I just have a bunch of Ikea furniture. Uh, the only reason why I wanted to get movers is because of my makeup, which I know sounds stupid, but you guys, this is my job. This is what is going to help pay for the apartment. Um, and you guys know I just love my makeup anyways. I don't want anything to break. So I wanted some movers because I thought, you know what, maybe they would get my stuff there safely, but I just think it might be too expensive for what we're worth <laughs> you know the makeup is the only reason why i would get movers so i was looking into at four in the morning 
um, the U-Haul shipping boxes where they bring you like a big container and you fill it up and then they ship it. Have any of you done that? I mean, that seems to be quite cost effective. Um, did your stuff get there? Did your stuff arrive safely? How long did it take? What was your experience? I would like to know. Um, and also, if you have a larger makeup collection, how did you pack your makeup? Okay, without stuff being broken. I mean, I know I have an abnormal collection size, but I don't know how to do it with all the powders and stuff. I'm really, really nervous about that. And I know probably in terms of caring for my makeup, the best route to go would be to drive a dang U-Haul truck from Maryland to Florida ourselves. But that sounds extremely unappealing to Jose and I. We are not road trip people. We do not like driving. We do not like sitting in the car. So that is like our plan Z. I'm trying to weigh all the other options. So your input will be valuable because I swear you guys are better than Google. But yeah, how are those shipping containers from U-Haul? Did you guys like that? Did your makeup come broken? How do you pack makeup? Let me know. Anyways, I have some errands to run this morning. And when I get home, I'm filming like a lip swatch haul from the Pat McGrath sale. So I want my makeup to be long lasting since I'm going out and wearing a mask, but I want it to be super neutral so that nothing clashes with the lip colors. I also don't have a ton of time, so I gotta get my butt in gear. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up and I'll show you what the makeup looks like. I'm using random, random products. I'll be back. <laughs> Here's what the final makeup looks like. So the main thing I was testing today is this e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Bronze Metal. It's really pretty. It was a lot creamier than I thought it would be, but it kind of came broken. Um, but I want to see how this is, if it creases, because I feel like this could be comparable to Chanel. Um, I also am testing this Milani Powder Highlight or Powder Blush. I'm using this super duper pretty, and then I used a few oldies, but my makeup looks really great, really fresh. But anyways, I'm gonna get dressed, so I'll be right back. $1. forty per pound is how they do it for such a long distance. He said if we keep it around, uh, I think 3,000 pounds, whatever that means. Got a phone call, so Jose ended up making breakfast. <laughs> But I, we have some toast, over easy egg, turkey sausage, and a small cup of pineapple juice that I'm drinking every morning. Oh. Ooh, this is good. Beautiful egg, Jose. We are heading to the bank. I'm really excited. Have to do some adulting stuff. So I started a company so Morgan Turner makeup is officially an LLC per the request of my accountant but anyways I have to go to the bank to get some things settled for that but y'all they're about to send me back because I don't have one of the documents that in they need. Order. I have like an adjacent document it's not exactly the same but I really really just want to get this over with so I'm gonna risk it and show up and hope they'll take what I have. So we'll see, but yeah. being an adult and doing adult things, it's really hard and Jose's coming with me. I'm forcing him to. So we have a number of errands to run today. And they're really exciting. We have to get this car emission tested that we're driving. It's my parents' car for them. We have, to go, to, we have to go to Starbucks to get a gift card for my mom. I'm gonna pick up some Starbucks while I'm there. And then the post office to drop off. Jose's hiding them in the bag, but to drop off some giveaway packages. I hate going to the post office, but I'm excited to give the giveaway packages. Okay, anyways, see you guys there. Pretty quick venture to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Not my fault though. I had everything that I needed. There was just the problem with some of the names. Uh, it's not my fault, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so, uh, I have to deal with that later when I get home and then do another appointment, but it seems pretty easy to deal with anyways. So we are gonna get Starbucks, I'm excited. And then we're gonna wait in line for our emissions car test. 
Got myself a good old pumpkin cream cold brew. I swear these give me so much energy, sometimes to a fault. Like sometimes it makes me anxious, but I need the energy today. Jose got a, you can't see it, but he got a hot chai. So on our way to the Starbucks, we saw that there was a post office right by where we were because the other post office that I always go to is way further away and harder to get into. I'm so pumped. I did not know this post office existed and we've done three, well after I give these packages, we will have done three of our four chores or errands for today and they all were in the same place. I thought it was gonna take way longer. So I just got home, it's about 12 o'clock, and I'm getting ready to film. That involves me doing something to my nails. I just want to get a quick coat to match the rest of these, because they were chipping really bad. The last time I painted my nails, I did it super lazily. <laughs> so a lot of my nails were chipping terribly, so I'm going to just put a quick coat on those chippy nails. I'm using the shade Lay Lady lay from deborah lipman it's this pretty mauvey purple color um not that you should take nail advice from me don't because i don't know how to do my nails really um i like to go to the nail salon but i i don't like going to the nail salon like i like the final product when i go but i hate the act of going sitting there it's my least favorite thing so in between appointments that I just decided to start doing, I'm using the Essie Base Coat, this Deborah Lippmann Polish, and then classic Siege Viet Dry Fast Top Coat, which is very important because I'm clumsy and I bang my nails into everything. But anyways, doesn't need to look perfect. Just needs to look better for on camera and not like this. Okay, so totally like, got it. Are you guys okay? <laughs> okay, I don't think it's gonna fall this time. Anyways, I lied to you guys, I'm not filming yet. I have to make an edit for a video that has a sponsor today and what that means, when you work with sponsors, they give you a brief and then kind of give you all the things that you need to have in the video and then you send it into them for approval and then sometimes they have you come back and make edits. If you follow the brief, normally the edits are either not editing at all or just add in one thing like i just need to add in one picture so i have to re-upload it and then after that we will film i promise you but i did want to show you guys how i work and edit um i don't do this all the time but when i left teaching i felt lazy like a potato because teaching especially pe i was on my feet all day so a few months ago i got this from Taylor Wynn. Um, it's a desk treadmill. I'll put the link down below. It's by Sunny. I got it on Amazon. So I ordered this off of Amazon and it is awesome. So I have this desk lifter. It's actually made for like a bed, but it works perfect for the height. And that way I just get a little bit of steps in while working and it's made a huge difference. I feel so much more productive. So yeah, I'm about to make some edits now. Okay, I'm about to start prepping for filming, but look at the topic for today. I'm doing a Pat McGrath haul. This is mostly from the $14 lip sale. I did pick up one palette. You'll have to check out my video to see what I got, but does this not look like heaven? I did go a little overboard with the lips. I did, but I had a moment where I was like, they're pretty cheap cheap <laughs> and um i just wanted to complete my collection i don't have every single lip color but if i liked the color i got it i was just like blacking out anyways i just wanted to show you a little piece of heaven So last step before I film is to touch up my makeup though. Honestly, it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna powder a little bit. The e.l.f. is 
smudge stick that I told you I was trying out, it's pretty. It's definitely faded and I've been wearing it for about four to five hours and it's creased a little bit but it left a pretty shadow behind that I like but it's definitely not as good as the Chanel ones. It just doesn't last but for a quick one and done shadow it's not bad. I'm not upset with it but I do feel the need to kind of blend it out. It's called the no budge stick. It's not no budge. It fades and there is a little bit of creasing but just for something on the eyes I think it looks good so that's my update on that and then I always like to have a candle going when I film so have you guys heard of the Woodwick candles these are awesome you can get them at Cracker Barrel I'm sure you can get them online elsewhere but they're awesome because they make like a little crackling sound that almost sounds like a fireplace so it's really relaxing um I hope it won't be too loud when I'm filming I have the nub here kind of high because it makes less noise but if you cut it short it will make really strong crackly noises which is what I prefer but for filming we just don't need it but listen I don't even know if you can hear it because my thing is too tall but some very little crackles but if I cut it shorter it would be a lot louder this is in the scent Santa's cookies so it has a very dessert caramelly kind of smell I've decided I can't do three wick candles in this room <laughs> because it gives me a headache I used to never get headaches from candles but now I do Bath and Body Works like makes me want to vomit uh, <laughs> and even the regular single mood forever mood those are too strong in this room with the door closed like I think you know if it was downstairs or in a whole apartment it'd be fine but i need little baby ones for this room now because all of a sudden i am so sensitive uh, anyways <sighs> let's get to filming <laughs> oh my goodness you guys we have an exciting one I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a Pat McGrath haul because I'm a psycho and I own everything so there's no need for me to buy stuff but look at this look at this see we got the big box BAM so this is the behind the scenes of lip swatch videos that they don't show you I have like a red ring along around my lip from trying on lip colors and helps your lips not get irritated if you just rub only on the lips and not the outside of the lip line at least for me but this was my last lipstick and i had a lot of dark colors in this one so we are staining and it literally there's a red ring around my mouth so i'm just gonna take everything off <laughs> real cute looking like the joker okay and then dry your face and then we just gotta reapply foundation in that area this is so messy and we want good coverage <laughs> you probably don't need that much coverage but oh my lips are sore i am not going to be lip swatching the lip glosses because my lips would die just fall off much better though I think lip swatch videos are so incredibly helpful, but dang, it is a process behind the scenes. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to swatch my lip glosses now. So I finished filming. My lips are donezo. So I think I'm going to sit, relax, answer some emails, edit that video, or at least start it. And I actually want to film another video today. Probably later this evening after dinner. I really have been enjoying spending my evenings filming because it feels very stress-free to me. Uh, so I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to prep for whatever I decide to film tonight. I think I already know. I'm going to have a chill evening. Normally, before Vlogmas, I really wouldn't work past 5 or 6. But... There's many reasons why this month I am overdoing it. <laughs> One is Vlogmas. I'm posting every day. But I posted almost every day anyways for the past six months. So this isn't that much extra work for me. It's the fact that in January, 
we are going to Miami to go apartment hunting for a week and then who knows what's going to happen after that who knows when I'm gonna pack my stuff when I'm gonna get it back um, who knows what I'm gonna have available when so or when we're gonna move lots of question marks so I am actually trying to get a little bit of a head start and start pre-filming now which is difficult because I'm also uploading every single day but if you're if you were ever a teacher you've had to be organized you just had and I am so thankful for my teaching skills for keeping me organized so that I can do stuff like this like vlogmas and uploading so frequently I have a great work ethic through teaching and let me tell you I was one of the most unorganized teachers I was not organized compared to my colleagues at all but still some of the skills that you just had to have have come so in handy for this time of year so yeah okay. It is snack time. One of the best healthy snacks in this household is seaweed. If you don't like sushi, you won't like this, but it's like a chip to me. It's way healthier than a chip, but it's super messy. <laughs> okay, let me stop being weird. So I told you I'd be working in editing. I definitely did not do anything because <laughs> I lay in bed and watch TikToks, but it's okay. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. But what got me out of bed was I've been wondering today, like I've been looking at my cheeks and going like, why do I love this blush so much? I normally hate orange blushes. And then it hit me and I thought I found a great dupe for my all-time favorite Pat McGrath blush, Desert Orchid. So I ran into this room to compare the two and I'm disappointed because they, uh, they aren't dupes, but I thought I would show you because they do remind me of each other. So Desert Orchid from Pat McGrath is my all-time favorite, favorite Pat McGrath blush. I normally don't like orange blushes, so that's why is a big deal. I just think it has a gorgeous, very subtle golden sheen and it's the perfect tone of orange that actually looks quite good on me if I do say so myself and I put on an orange blush today and I was feeling it I liked the golden sheen uh, so I thought they were dupes because I don't like orange blushes very much but they're not this is the Milani cheek kiss powder blush palette in golden hour glow I thought this was a dupe but it's not let me show you you see this one is just a little bit deeper let me swatch the Milani. The Milani is underneath. It's a little bit more of a bright orange. So I'm slightly disappointed, but I feel like they might look close on the cheek. So I'm going to try it. <laughs> I do have um, the Milani on both, but I just want to see if I put this towards the back of my cheek, how close they look. Because if you don't like warm blushes, I've said this many times, you need to try Desert Orchid. I love it. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit deeper. Okay, I still like the Desert Orchid better. But, another warm blush find is this one right here. This one is beautiful. It's a bit lighter, especially if you're more fair and you think Desert Orchid is too deep on you. I think you'll like this. This, from this Milani palette, this shade is way too dark on me. But I like the pink as well. But this is a standout. I've been testing this. It's going to be in a speed reviews video but i've been liking this longevity has been decent anyways i just turned on the camera to tell you i failed at finding a dupe i guess okay i'm actually downloading the footage i filmed today so i'm gonna edit that for a little bit eating i think i'm having pho for dinner my mom makes the most delicious pho i don't know how to make it don't ask me for the recipe i don't know how to cook y'all and um after dinner I think I'm gonna take my makeup off and film another video because I'm feeling motivated to do so. I was gonna work out today. I try to work out like three to four times a week, uh, but my hair looks good. <laughs> and that doesn't happen very often, so I'm gonna take advantage of the good hair day and like knock a couple videos out. And I worked out the last three days in a row, so I think I'm okay to take the day off. I love this cup. This is from Amazon. 
Um, it's prettier with smoothies in it. I originally bought this for, uh, Jose used to make bubble teas at home. He doesn't really anymore. But I bought this for his bubble tea addiction. And then we also love smoothies, more so in the summer. But since we haven't been using these, I put this in here. So I'll link them. They're super cute. They come in a set of two. They come with a bigger straw uh, that fills it, making it perfect for bubble tea because it's a fat straw if you make your own bubble tea. Let me edit a little bit. Cozy vibes. So I decided I'm going to watch an episode of Selling Sunset. Love it but hate it. It is such a bad show. But so good. You can't help but watch, right? <laughs> I've watched all three seasons. I'm watching the new season. But I'm only doing like one episode of it because it's a bit much. But yeah, I'm going to relax for a little bit. I've been waiting for this pho all day. It's my favorite. And Jose's doing this weird thing where he cuts his noodles like a five-year-old but anyways okay i put a little too much sriracha in mine so now my nose is running but it's so good i like a lot of lime extra 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 lime in mine i got a color pop package in the mail they've been coming out with so much i feel like I get a package from them every day. I know what it is because I just read the name on it. But we have a whole bunch of colors of the blotted lip, which I'm going to have to play with. I don't know if I'm into the vibe of a blotted lip, but we'll see. Um, and then this is a new big eyeshadow palette. They've come out with a lot recently. This format must be doing well for them. So this is the Gone Matte Palette. Let's see. I might give this one away. I mean, this is great. Oh my goodness. I'm taking a break from doing wedding makeup for like the next year since I'm moving, as you know. <laughs> Uh, but this phenomenal bridal palette They also just came out with that other rose one and that also makes a great uh, Wedding palette putting these two together would be perfect in somebody's kit. This one especially I think is great uh, you guys know I use the Viseart Grande Pro which basically has every matte I need but I like like they don't have a shade like this in the video, but you have warm tones here, neutral tones here, pinky tones, which are very big and bridal, plummy tones, gray tones. Wow. I don't know that I have a need for this, so I'm not going to touch it, but I don't know when this is la launching. I don't see a launch date on this, but I'm going to assume that, you guys, it's launched by the time I'm talking about it, but yeah. Thank you so much, ColourPop. Oh, okay. I'm also eating some ice cream right now. Not the healthiest, but it felt right. I put out all of my makeup, holiday makeup from 2020, because I want to do a roundup where are they now kind of video. I'm debating if I even want to get ready to film tonight because this is, this is a lot of products. I might just do... No, my hair looks good. I need to film this. I don't know. <laughs> I need to take my current makeup off and I'll evaluate. But at the very least, all my products are pulled. So that's good because this was a task to go through all my old videos and find the holiday makeup. <gasps> I'm so proud of myself. I actually finished filming. So I still need to do swatches and everything, but I'll do that tomorrow. I got the actual like look and docking part done. Isn't this pretty? So this is using two of the Pat McGrath Holiday Quads that came out in 2020. Really, really pretty and soft and glimmery. Um, so I need to take my makeup off and call it a night because it's already 10.30. I'm not tired though because I'm never tired anymore. Um, let's get this makeup off. 
Isn't it so funny how the life of a like makeup reviewer or beauty YouTuber is to put on makeup to wear at home to just take it off. Like I spent an hour doing this makeup, talked for about an hour to film my video, and took a few pictures and now I'm taking it off. But you know what I think about constantly to make it not feel like a waste? You know, if I go out in public into the real world <laughs> and I'm wearing makeup, nobody really notices. I don't really see that many people. Nobody cares about makeup. But when I go on camera with my makeup, it's more important that my makeup looks good even if I'm not leaving my house because thousands of people are seeing my makeup and they're interested in makeup so they're looking at my makeup so it is definitely more important to wear makeup for my videos than it is to go out in public <laughs> anyways that's just something i tell myself to feel better i am using my garnier micellar water it's my favorite favorite makeup remover i am just getting this off it's so gentle it gets the makeup off and it doesn't break me out which everything breaks me out so and i'm running low on this i need to buy some more but i'm using my erna laszlo detoxifying cleansing oil i don't like that it's black but it really does help get residual makeup off like you'll see the makeup in the sink and it makes you feel good that this melts the makeup off Maybe I need to find a new oil, but so many products break me out that I like to just stick to products that I know work and are gentle. And I totally am about the double cleanse life. So I'm now using my Biosan Squalene and Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. I'm almost done with this. I love this cleanser. I've loved everything that I've ever tried from Biosan. They are such a great gentle makeup brand if you, not makeup, they're such a good gentle skincare brand if you have sensitive skin. So highly recommend looking into Biosans, not sponsored. <laughs> and my skin in the last few, like I want to say month or so, has been extra pimply. So I've been using the brand Dermala a lot. I love their pimple patches, but I just ran out. But I do like this at night. This is a AM slash PM acne treatment. So they're pads and they're basically like it's acne medication. And I've been breaking out along like my chin area, my cheeks. So I've been putting it along here. Um I think they're sending me some new products to try. It's like a subscription brand. So you fill out a form of your skin type and I did that. They did send me their whole skincare stuff and I've been using it for a few months and I really, really like it. I don't use their stuff every day because I pretty much signed up for their acne box and I don't have acne all the time and I find that when I use acne specific skincare for too long, it makes my skin really dry and not nice. So I use the Dermalo when my skin is misbehaving and I think it does a really good job of just making my skin and acne happier. Yes, and then I'm working on finishing my Biosance Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. This is a really nice moisturizer. I don't think it's heavy enough in the winter for me and I don't like the way it smells. Like it doesn't have a scent. It just smells like the ingredients and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I just put way too much on but it's because my skin has been extra dry. Okay and then I've been loving my Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment just to get on my spots which I see one growing in right here so we're going to try and combat that. I think the rest is just acne scars just that one spot yeah good because it's been a battle right here on this side for some reason um where's my lash serum who stole my lash serum ah here it is 
I use my new lash, lash, Enher lash enhancing, what is it? New lash, lash enhancing serum. I did do a video called like top five mascaras for short sparse lashes. I go on a whole spiel on lash serums and my experience with them and what I think the best one is. So check that video out. But I'm finishing this up before I move over to Grande Lash. And I do put this along my lower lash. And I got a question asking if this changed my eye color. Because some people do report that lash serums change your eye color. Now I've been using probably lash serums for like two years. Nothing like that has ever happened to me. Okay, I'm going to get into, well brush my teeth. And I'm going to get into my jammies. Okay guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. I was so productive today. I was worried I would not be productive today, but let me tell ya, you saw we did all those errands this morning and that's why I thought I wouldn't get much done today, but I did on top of those four errands that we ran this morning. Um, I filmed three videos. One I fully filmed, one is this vlog, and the other one is the one I just did. I still need to do the swatches, but still. I got a head start on three videos today, watched two episodes of Selling Sunset, ran four errands. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do need to go to bed though because it's like, it's 11 o'clock. Alright, well I'm going to vlog tomorrow. It won't be probably as in depth today because it'll start to get a bit repetitive. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So it's about nine o'clock. I am going to just hang out in my room, do answer some emails, do a little bit of work for about a half hour before I have breakfast. Um, Jose is trying to be a little bit more productive now and have more of a schedule because normally I just let him sleep in, but he asked me to wake him up, so I woke him up right now, and we're just gonna do some computer work, wake up, and we'll make some breakfast. Then I'm going to get dressed and really get into my work after breakfast. Uh, but for now, let's let's answer some emails. Lately, I have been loving working at my desk in our bedroom because our bedroom is not cluttered. Or, well, it looks cluttered, kind of where we're we're at right now. <laughs> but it's actually a very clean space. This just happens to be the cluttered area. This Christmas present section over here. I've learned that I just love a change in environment where I work. So I like work different parts of the day in different parts of my house. Sometimes I work in my bedroom here. Sometimes I work in my makeup room. Sometimes I work downstairs in kind of like Jose and I's office. I love different desks. So <laughs> I'm going to work here this morning. Is anybody else? A planner person I know there's like a big planner community on YouTube I have used a planner ever since I was like young in school they used to give us planners I mean I'm talking elementary school I would always write my homework in my planner and use it and I don't know how people don't use planners because I would forget everything I'm not one of those sticker pretty handwriting decorate my planner kind of person my planner is like always ugly scratch out but i love my planners my one for this year i'm sad it's coming to an end of the year so i'm gonna need to order a new one i just got this one off of amazon for pretty cheap have an attachment after using it for a year always carrying it with me um I've, i have a couple of different planners i have a content planner let me show you I have a content planner that I don't actually really keep up with because I prefer the daily planner but this one is really cool let me show you if you're a content creator it's called the content planner and it gives you some really good stickers which I wish I could do but I never really do I haven't even updated it for December it's mid-December that's how much I use it but um I have a couple of different planners. I prefer my daily planner, so I'm about to schedule my day. Um, I'm planning on going live tonight. It's Thursday, so I'm not uploading a video. My Tom Ford bad at, what is it? Extreme Badass Collection is coming. Uh, so I might want to like play with that in my live tonight. So I'm just waiting to see when that comes. 
And then I need to do the description box and stuff for my video. So I'm going to write out my day. description box time so I keep all of the products that I used in a video in a basket until I get to doing the description box I have a running Google Doc where I just have it all on a document so whenever I upload the video it's already there I try not to wait too long to do these so I don't forget anything to put in the description box so I'm about to do two videos the lip swatch video from yesterday and I want to do the description box for the um, 2020 holiday makeup where are they now video. So this is going to take me a hot minute. I don't know. Can you hear this candle better? I trimmed it down. Listen. This is the wood wick candle I talked about yesterday that makes like a really peaceful um, crackling noise. I love it for when I'm working. Anyways. This will probably take me an hour, so I need to get started. So I just got a text that I had a package from Sigma. Let's see what is in here. Ooh, okay. So we have the Sigma Lux brushes. Sigma has some really neat PR packages. Oh, here's the box it comes in. Let's see. Ooh, these look nice take a look so these are let's see are they six new innovative brushes designed with ultra soft synthetic fibers for a luxurious high performance finish the rounded brush heads offer a gentle application with any product or formula so this is called the powder sculpt this looks quite interesting Ooh, ooh, these are soft, and this is going to be like a great bronzer brush. Okay, I mean, I don't have a huge collection of Sigma products, but these to me do feel softer than the ones that I do have, and I'm really feeling these brush shapes. Ooh, look at this one. This is a good highlight brush. The all-purpose buffer. It's not too dense. Ooh, okay, I love these. I really like Sigma brushes. Um, I think they have some really neat shapes. But one of the things that I never really... But one of the things was I did feel like I didn't love their brush, their bristles. Like, they were nice and heavy duty, but working with brands like Refer, Sonia G, Wayne Goss, Esom all the time... I've become super accustomed to super soft brushes, uh, but the Sigma, this line, really, really nice. And they're synthetic, which is great. So anyways, thank you, Sigma. I mean, that's the only PR package I got. I, I don't know, guys. So I am going live today, but I have my Tom Ford stuff, I think is coming. I have to check on nine, but... I'm like 80% sure that that's the uh, Tom Ford collection that I'm waiting on. But it says it won't arrive until 8 p.m. Or at least it's expected before 8 p.m. So I want to make my thumbnail and announce it, but what if it doesn't come? I don't know. Maybe I have to make my life for like 8 p.m. Anyways, I'm going to start swatching. It's 11.13. I'm going to um, work out at noon. So let me get some swatching out of the way. So I think for cardio today, I'm going to do the 20 minute 2000s hip hop ride with Ali Love. And then I'll do a little bit of strength after. There's Jose using my, tre my treadmill to uh, work out. <laughs> or warm up. Excuse me, not work out. Warm up. Okay, this. I need to do something about this. But I'm not going to do anything with it. Anyways. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
So I checked my Beautylish accounts and they said my order should be here before 8. So I'm setting my live from 8 o'clock tonight. And I love doing thumbnails for lives because it's like, how ugly can I get it? And I love this. <laughs> okay, anyways. I've been avoiding doing these swatches, y'all. I still have not done these dang swatches. <laughs> when I uh, finish the live setup, I am going to do this. Woo, it took almost an hour and a half, but I got all of the swatches. All of these have been haunting me done. And I even linked all of them for the description box. So I am going to go on a walk because it's going to get dark soon. And Jose and I like to go on a walk a day just to get some sunlight and enjoy some fresh air. And then when I come back, we're going to clean all of this. My goodness, today is just an absolutely beautiful day. It's not too cold. Jose is in his prime right now. He's soaking up the sun. He loves it. It is really nice though. We ran out of dumpling sauce, so Jose and I did our own DIY dumpling sauce of Asian sauces that we like and hopes that it would turn out good. We literally mix soy sauce, chili oil, what is this? Rice vinegar, and then my favorite, <laughs> sweet soy sauce, and then we have some simple syrup. Honestly, it's kind of good though. We're gonna be in the bathroom for the couple of days. Oh, yeah, I have to go live <laughs> after that, so hopefully. <laughs> Oh, why is this not boiling? And then, yeah, we have our Ling Ling Gyoza that I need the water to heat up faster. I don't know how to cook. Wow, this is what I call presentation. <laughs> this chef. All right, so I'm going live in like seven minutes. This is what I look at. Jose sets this all up for me because I have no clue how to do it. But I get asked what program I use for lives. I use OBS. Well, Jose uses OBS. I don't understand it. I don't really recommend it for the beginner. It's quite confusing. I'm just lucky to have married somebody who understands this stuff. And then I always have my um, live over here just to make sure everything is good. And I'm excited. I have some Tom Ford stuff just in case people ask for comparisons and... We got the goods, so I'm about to get the show rolling. All right, guys, it is like 11 now, way past my bedtime. Live went good. I just hung out after. So I'm going to go to bed and close this vlog out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and like this video. I'm in the middle of Vlogmas, so that means I am posting every single day. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Good night.